question we are discussing today is about reduction of nonlinear loss to linear loss. So we have the question reading, the figure below shows the graph of logarithm of P against logarithm of Q. So we have the graph as shown here. And then given that P is equal to A Q raised to N, find the value of A and N. We see in this diagram, we have a straight line graph and the law we have here is nonlinear. So we reduce this nonlinear law to linear form. That is in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So how that is achieved? We are given that p is equal to a q raised to n. And therefore, we introduce common logarithms on the left-hand side and right-hand side. So logarithm of P is equal to logarithm of A times Q raised to N. Now, on the right-hand side, when you apply the laws of logarithm, multiplication implies addition of the logs. So here we'll have logarithm of a plus logarithm of q raised to n. We need also to recall that if you have logarithm of a raised to n, this is the same as n log a. So the power multiplies log a. So that will apply to this second part. So we have logarithm of p is equal to logarithm of a plus n log q. So this power multiplies log q. So at this point we can say it's already in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So maybe if I rearrange this we'll have logarithm of p is equal to n log q plus log a. Now if we relate it to y is equal to mx plus c, you'll note that n here represents m, m is the gradient of the line, x here is what you're plotting on the x-axis, log q, and y is log p, and then c is the y-intercept, which is log a. So if we're required to determine the values of a and n, remember that is what we asked in the question, find the values of a and n. For us to determine n, n we've seen is the gradient of the line. So n is obtained by getting change in log p over the change in log q. That is change in y over change in x. So we're going to have here, we are given two points on the line. So at this point, we have five comma 21. And then at the y intercept, we know that the value of x is zero. So the coordinates here, we have zero comma one. So we're going to use those two points to calculate the gradient. We have point zero one and five twenty one. So using these two points to calculate the gradient, we'll have change in log p as 21 minus 1, that is 21 minus 1, over change in x, which is 5 minus 0, that is change in log q, 5 minus 0. So this worked out, we get, so in the numerator we have 20, denominator we have 5, so 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So that implies that n is equal to 4. But for the case of A, A we obtain from log A. So log A is equal to the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is the point where the line meets the y-axis, that is 1. Log A is the y-intercept, and that is 1. So in order to get A, we are going to determine the log inverse 
of 1. So from this equation, A is obtained as the log inverse of 1. And therefore, if you work out this, remember this is to base 10. So if you have to determine A, then A becomes 10. And if we don't look for the log inverse even from tables, we can just express this logarithmic notation to index notation. And that is, we'll just have 10 raised to 1 is equal to A. 10 power 1 is equal to A. And therefore, A is 10. So that is how we obtain the value of A. Now, we had already obtained the value of n, n is 4, and a is 10. Now with this, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye.